Hi, I have um, created this uh, spreadsheet called Travel Expenses. Um, this spreadsheet has nothing to do with John Lewis, by the way. So if you are um, a John Lewis partner, you can turn away. <laughs> Travel Expenses. Um, okay, so there are different tabs. There are the bus tab, um, M MTL tab, um, the summary tab, um, and then the prices. Okay, so first we will try out it MTL. Um, I have actually done some um, experiments already here. So um, all you have to do is to type in um, the date. So for example, April the 9th. I know my dates are going backwards, but it will still work. So four slash nine. Okay, so that's um, 9th of April. And then you choose the station you're traveling between. And there is like a whole list of uh, station that you can choose from, as you can see. So I'm going to choose well, Dicene and then maybe Kennedy Town and um, once you choose the two station it will work out the price and then it will just deposit the, the amount and uh, when you do that uh, there is like a grand total for April here so we show you again um, so it's April the 8th Yep, I know my, my dates are going backwards, but it's okay, it's fine. Let's go for typo. Oops. Typo market. And then let's go to charting, maybe, charting. Charting. And then again, uh, the price will come up and... Uh, the amount will appear but if you are doing a return journey you can just go ahead and type in two enter um, and then you will have the grand total like this and this data is actually collected in summary so how much have I got $71 let's go to summary in April MTR spent $71 Okay, let's go to buses now. So the buses, um, so all you have to do is to type in the dates like before 19th of April. So April slash, 4 slash 19, and then choose the bus number. Uh, because with bus numbers there's so many, uh, these are just the demo ones that I've got. Um, for example, I'm going to choose 1122, which doesn't exist. And again, it will just deposit uh, the price here. For buses, you have got like long trips and um, short trips. But I'm just going to make it simpler and have one price and not complicate things. Um, too much and if you actually go to the bus prices this is where you enter all the price uh, all the bus number and prices so you could actually have like 82 long trip if you want if, if you actually want to to be very Pacific and for example the long trip is $10 and then 82 short trip is maybe eight dollar okay so once you put that in the bus prices two two columns um, you can go back to bus um, now you can actually go ahead um, and select I'm just gonna put another date that the, the, um, the option that we just put in there you go long trip okay and then we're going to try the short trip. So 82 short trip. 
Oops. Um, there you go. Um, that one was the formatting. The formatting was all wrong. So all you have to do is just to pull it down, pull it down like this, and then the formatting will be fine. And then seventeen. Um, put in the date. Uh, April the third. Okay. Now um, the April expenses is one three eight point five. So let's go to back to summary. Yep, one three eight point five for the buses in the month of April. Yep, um, that is um, my take on the um, traveling expenses, and I might just do another tab for taxi and for other transports that I haven't listed, um, because the most obvious one is MTR because we do take it a lot. Yep. Um, and these results would be, I mean, I can just visualize it being linked into another sheet where you have all the other expenses. So this, um, travel expense, um, sheet is actually a, a, a sheet that stand by itself, but it will link to another sheet, which, um, which will actually, um, total everything up. Thank you. Bye.